why TBC was the deal. Now, I'm not going to pretend like I'm not going to watch this fight. Yes, I'm about the heavyweights, but this is a good fight. Um, and the Dominic Brazil versus Samir Mansoor is on this card. So I'm going to catch this fight. It's a very intriguing fight. Danny Garcia, Robert Guerrero. Um, when I look at Guerrero, he's an old warrior. You know, he's 32 years old. He's been a pro for a while now. He's been a pro since 2001. You know, um, he's been in there with, you know, Mayweather, Thurman, Berto, Casitas. I mean, he's been there with quite a few guys. Uh, he didn't look all that great against Aaron Martinez. Now, Martinez has went on to show you that although he is a guy you never heard of, he is, he is not a slouch. You know, he beat Devin Alexander. So the win over Martinez is starting to look uh, better. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but he struggled with Martinez. And you could argue Martinez beat him. Martinez put him down in the fourth hit him with a, a left hook that started and then he hit him with a series of rights that put Guerrero down but Guerrero was still aware he wasn't you know out of it um even his knockdown against Keith Thurman he was still aware he wasn't out of it or wobbling around can you know barely you know stand up or anything Guerrero I believe has only been down three times in his career you know and he's been a pro since 2001 but two of those three have came in his last two fights so it's kind of it kind of makes you think, man, like, um, like, damn, like where, you know, I think he still has good punch resistance, but his legs just didn't look that great to me in his fight with Martinez. Um, just when he gets in, when he, you know, when they get inside and they get the, you know, fighting at close quarters, he was going on his back foot. Now, Martinez may be a lot stronger than, um, I'm giving him credit for. Obviously he beat Devin Alexander too, but it just didn't look like the same Robert Guerrero, you know, it just like the same Robert Guerrero to me. And Guerrero, he hasn't been knocked out. A lot of people, for some reason, have this impression like Guerrero's been knocked out a lot of times. No, he's just lost recently, you know, to Thurman and, and he lost to Floyd. And a lot of people thought he lost the Martinez fight. The Kamagai fight is another fight that he won, but it was a back and forth. It was a war. The Martinez was back and forth. I will give him credit for Martinez because he... Um, like I said, Guerrero looked to start a little slow. Martinez took advantage of it. And then Guerrero kind of got the fight in the center of the ring. And he was getting some work off on Martinez, too. It wasn't like it was this total gift decision, in my opinion. It didn't seem like that. He was getting some work off, too. And he was, you know, able to get some clean work off on Martinez. He was pushing him back here and there, too. But he had to get warmed up, it seemed like. The Berto fight, you know, he took it right to Berto. He surprised me. He surprised Berto. He took it right to him and bring it to the trenches. And that pretty much, you know is one of the reasons why he won that fight and that was still a good fight that was still a that was back and forth Berto was throwing back man that was a good ass fight you know so he's he's been in some drag outs man besides just being clearly dominated by Floyd Mayweather he's been in some drag outs and you think it's going to take his toll sooner or later Garcia just seems to be the more fresher of the two Guerrero's 32 years old he's not an old man but he's 32 he's been a pro for 15 years you know Garcia, 27 years old, um, turned pro in 2007. Now, he has got some gifts. Um, the Peterson was very debatable. Herrera was very debatable. Um, Zab fought him nice and close, but I thought he beat Zab. The first Mor um, Morales fight didn't look all that great for him. The Holt was a split decision. I mean, Garcia has probably gotten some gifts. I think the Herrera was a gift. I thought Peterson won, but I didn't like how Peterson was uh, treating the fight by just getting on his bicycle and doing the whole, you know, nan and the boo boo, you can't catch me, all that shit. I don't know why he did that. I wanted him to sit down on some punches and make Garcia pay. You know, not just get on your bicycle and prove to everybody that he can't uh, touch you. I mean, shit, you have to land shots too. But I thought Peterson did that too much in that fight with Garcia. Um, but I thought he won the fight by at least a point or two. I thought he edged it. But um, then his last fight with Malinaji, Malinaji is not going to bring that type of physicality to a fight that will worry Garcia. Now, early in the fight, Malinaji was moving around, landing shots, you know, trying to outwork um, Danny. But Danny didn't have nothing to worry about with Malinaji. He's just not physical enough to give Danny problems. Um Guerrero is physical enough. I think if he can bring the physicality to this, he might make this an interesting fight. I see Garcia was an 8-1 favorite um, going into this fight. And I'm going to stand firm with that. I think this fight, I think Guerrero will come in, kind of do, you know, I think he'll come in, 
He has the pedigree, man, so he's not going to be overwhelmed by Garcia. He might start off cold. He has this tendency to start off cold for some reason, like he has to warm up or something in his last recent fights. Uh, you know, so, but Garcia likes to fill you out, too. He's not the type, you know, he's not a first-round knockout artist. Um, he's not fighting the raw Salka, so it's not that type of fight. Man, I can see Guerrero going down. I can see him being cut, busted up. And the thing with Guerrero, you do not go unscathed when you fight him. Now, Mayweather was able to do it, but I don't, you know, Gar Garcia is nowhere near the reflexes and the, the the feet, the legs, you know, that Mayweather has. Garcia is rather uh, flat-footed, although he will bend at the waist and, you know, roll with shots and duck under. I mean, he doesn't just completely stand there for you to hit him. He, You know, he will pivot and turn. But as far as moving around, again, he's not that type, you know, he doesn't excel at that part of the game in my opinion he is willing to go in the trenches i mean should zab him and zab was um in the trenches a little bit so i mean he will take it there and i think he's most comfortable there i don't see him walking guerrero down with you know jabs right hands and left hooks i don't see him walking guerrero down like that i think guerrero will make a stand guerrero might go down in the, in the first few rounds i think he might come out cold and probably get hit with something to probably go down he may like I said, both guys may be bloodied and bruised. I think it'll be close the first few rounds. I think Guerrero will try to make a stand, but I think Garcia will just have more in the tank. He's the fresher of the two fighters. Whether you thought he won or lost, I think the miles on the body, he's a fresher fighter than Guerrero. This was Guerrero four, three, four years ago. Maybe, you know, it'd be more interesting. He Guerrero does have a reach advantage. Um, he is a soft paw. Maybe that he can make it tricky for Garcia. Zab, you know, so. Because Zab didn't make it easy for Garcia either, you know, coming from that stance. So I'm going to go with Garcia, though, but this is a tricky fight, man. It's really tricky because with Guerrero, it's almost like, is this his last hurrah? Or are we going to see Garcia go in there and just destroy him? You know, but I don't know, man. Garcia hasn't looked really great to me uh, since the Matisse fight, you know. And Guerrero hasn't looked all that great to me since the Birdo fight. You know, so interesting matchup, but I'm going to go with Robert Garcia, or uh, what's the boy name? Danny Garcia. YTBC. I'm out.